Hey, this is Vim Hot Tips and Tricks. My name is Josh Branshaw. In this episode, we're going to look at using standard and relative line numbers in Vim. You can use set number and set no number to turn standard line numbering on and off respectively. And as for relative numbering, you can use set relative number and set no relative number. Now there are also shorthands available, which I'll be using throughout the episode. I'm currently using standard line numbering, which you can tell by the numbers going one, two, three on down the page. Now I could turn that off using set no new, and you can see there's no line numbers now. I could then turn on relative line numbering using set r new, and now you can see that where the cursor is positioned is zero, and then line numbering going off in either direction counts up. Now if I were to also turn on set new to turn regular numbering back on, it would combine the two, where I could see the current line number along with relative line numbering going off in either direction. Now I prefer personally just to use regular or standard line numbering, but the reason you might choose to use relative line numbering is because in some cases it can make it easier to know where you need to jump to and then move there. For instance, if I want to get to the return object keys statement, I see that it's 11 lines away, so I can hit 11J, and it jumps me there. If I then want to get to the top level return statement, I can see it is six lines up, so I can hit 6K. Now I'm gonna turn relative line numbering back off to demonstrate that I can do the same thing with standard line numbering by doing something like 22G to get to that return statement, or 16G to get to this top level return statement. Now that's it for this episode. See the help files for the number option for more details. And make sure to subscribe to catch upcoming episodes of Vim Hot Tips and Tricks.